health. Can you raise your hands? Oh, okay. So maybe I don't need to do the presentation anymore, I thought. Um, well, I mean, thank you very much. You know, we started um, you know, our whole journey last year, actually, in the middle of November in New York. That's why it's actually very important for us to be back and share our updates. I'm going to introduce ELF, you know, what it is. So ELF is the world's first um, cloud computing decentralized um, blockchain. Yeah, so what we're trying to, what we're seeing in the past couple of years is that, you know, Bitcoin has proved the point that storage of value can be done in a decentralized way. And Ethereum has also proved a point that actually can do much more in a decentralized way, basically running smart contracts. Um, so that could extend to banking, uh, logistics, gaming, basically everything. Yeah, but in order to achieve that peak, you know, to really unleash the business potential, we do need a strong blockchain platform that can actually serve those different purposes and also has a good performance that um, can be run on the technology. Um, yeah, so what we see right now is we will still see this gap um, in the blockchain infrastructure. So the first thing here is about scalability and performance. You know, so what we see here is we need much faster transaction speed that we can handle you know, multiple business scenarios and also reach the retail customer base. And the second thing is about resource segregation. So what's about that is right now, if I'm a developer, I have a really brilliant smart contract. But I will still worry about whether other smart contracts is gonna impact my performance because they're gonna have the same computational resources and yeah, you don't have a guarantee of your performance. So that's the issue. And the last part is, as you know, for any technology, you need to have a very fast way to incorporate new changes, to add on new features, so that you keep competitive. So that's something that we believe should be put into the smart contract, you know, so that the community can vote for it. Yeah, so that's why we started this project called ELF, and we really want to bring blockchain to serve different kinds of smart contracts, either for startups or for large enterprises. So what we're building here is, first of all, it's a multi-chain structure. So based on our chains can be customized for different uses. We recommend smart contracts to be put on different side chains. So we'll see some side chains will be serving for banking or for logistics. We'll see other chains serving for healthcare or something else. And at the center of it is a main chain that watches what has been, what has happened on the different side chains and facilitates the cross-chain communication. And we use dedicated proof of stake to ensure high performance um, for different smart contracts. And we're gonna see an ecosystem that supports uh, public chains and also private chains using our technology. And the second part is about independence and specialization. So once we have all those uh, dedicated nodes, what we're bringing here is a cloud computing concept. You know, in the past, all the nodes have to process all the smart contracts and it's done by one computer. And at ELF, we actually enable nodes to run on cluster of computers. So transactions can be broken down into independent groups and they can be processed in parallel. So what this means to smart contracts is actually you can have much more complicated smart contracts running on our platform. And the last part, governance. We believe, you know, fast prototyping is really important. That's why we're doing our development. And, you know, still blockchain is at an early stage. So it's a try and error. We do recognize that there will be certain things that need to be fixed. Uh, smart contracts wants to be updated. New features should be operated based on new advancement in the technology. So all those things should be written in codes, and we should allow our token holders to actually make the decision what are the things they believe is good for the ecosystem. 
Um, so in this way, this is also a way to introduce competition, you know, so that competitive smart contracts um, keep on improving themselves to stay in the ecosystem. Yeah, uh, just to give a very brief um, graphics, you know, how it works. So in the traditional way, you know, every transaction has to go through one by one. So they're all lined up and waiting to be processed. And what we're doing here is, you know, our node is actually a group of computers. So that is a team. You know, some of them work hand in hand and they take the independent transactions to process in parallel. And the key thing here is to ensure that transactions are independent from each other so they can be processed in parallel. Because otherwise, uh, you have some issues. So we have a um, task scheduler that actually handles that. And as the result, um, we'll see you know, a much faster uh, thing that um, you know, things will be run on in parallel. Um, and this is an illustration that you know we will see. If we want to see you know if it's one chain to serve thousands of smart contracts. Basically, you have a one name highway. You can try to work on you know improving the performance, but probably not the best solution. So what we're doing here is we use different side chains. Some will handle many tracks. Some will handle the work line. Um, yeah, in certain uh, chains, actually, you could also have a voting to improve the performance at the same time. Yeah, um, so for us, uh, besides you know, linking all the side chains with the help, we also link using adapters to get transactions from um, Bitcoin or Ethereum or some other public blockchains um, so that you know, we can also verify transactions uh, over there. And uh, a lot of things can be voted um, in the system. You know, as long as you're a token holder, uh, certain things you can vote for. That's if you're selected as a dedicated node, you know, there are certain things you can vote for as well. Um, yes, yeah, so a couple of examples. So the first thing would be, um, yeah, one of the new features should be incorporated. Whether any new sections should be incorporated. And um, you know, if there's a new technology or a new consensus which is proven more secure and more efficient, you know, so those are things that can happen in the system. We really want to do it in a democratic way. <laughs> yeah, so in a nutshell, so we're building a platform that is with high performance and scalability and also more customizable um, with a multi chain structure and um, Cloud nodes to execute more smart, uh, more complex smart contracts. Yeah. So recently we have launched one of our um, asset to, uh, asset insurance chain. So what it does? So it's one of the side chains that can actually issue tokens. Um, and this is the first time actually we do allow people using their headphones to launch tokens um, to also make transfers. So all those things are ready in test mode, and people can take a look at it. And together, we already have online wallets that you can test it out, a browser to track all the transactions, and also we prepare SDK for future developers to make use of that. Yeah. Um, so we have been around for around uh, for almost five, five to six months. Um, community is a really important part for us. So where we're standing right now is we have a Telegram group around 70,000 um, community members and actually we have some of them here today. Um, yeah, we also have WeChat and Twitter. So basically we're, we're visible in most of the um, channels. We really like to see our community as our extended uh, team, you know, so Actually, managing the community is done by volunteers. Um, you know, some of those infographics explaining the technology, um, ready. Everything is managed by the community. We want to get it involved, and we also want to work with them hand in hand. And with the mindset of, and also we have a very global community. Um, actually, we're pretty uh, big in South Korea, the US, and also uh, in Europe. Because we really believe what blockchain brings in is also globalization, because this is the first time you know, everything could go borderless. 
Um, yeah, so we're also running a lot of interactive activities. If you check our, our weather right now, we're running AMA. Um, we're also doing a healthy, creative picture taking session, you know, where globally we have 100 LPs, which is a very cute um, mascot for us. So people can really go creative, post pictures, you know, how they see it. And there's a competition running on Twitter, you know. Um, and, you know, although we are a tech company, you know, pushing the boundary of the technology, but what really matters in the future is, you know, as an industry, we need to make people understand how blockchain can really help businesses to succeed. That's why the recent activity we have done is a Health Innovation Alliance signing ceremony. So this is the first time that we invited the funding members all together uh, in Singapore two weeks ago. So what the Innovation Alliance does is we want it to be the powerhouse to really help businesses, large or small, to really find the right business model, to find the right type of crypto uh, funding, and also the right type of technology support. So with that three layers of support, we really believe this is the way to find uh, what are the best use cases um, uh, on blockchain. Yeah, so we want to focus on, first of all, we believe, you know, this is something that has to be borderless. You know, so we're looking at all the countries that are interested in this. Uh, we want to set some really good examples to, lead, to show the leadership um, way forward. We also want to have a more focused way to approach this. And um, yeah, we really want to see this as a transformational uh, catalyst. And uh, we are sounding advisors, you know, to walk them through the pathway. Um, just one last sentence. So the funding members right now includes, you know, capital side. We have FPG Capital. We have Signal Capital, uh, who has been deeply involved in the crypto scene. On the business model side, we have Bobby Lab, which is associated with Bobby Exchange, you know, pushing or building up ecosystem. And also on the uh, enterprise side, we have Roland Berger, which is the largest consulting firm uh, in Europe. Uh, that actually opens up accesses to large corporates. And on the technology side, um, so ELF is playing the central role, you know, push the boundary. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, we will take, focus on knowledge and awareness right now, and moving gradually, we will try to find some good use cases uh, during our exploration and incubation phase. And after that, we do hope in the next two to three years, there will be a full commercialization of blockchain systems. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoy the evening.